Okay. It's about 25 feet to that shed. Uh, here is single rival. Here is double rival. Uh, here is single short dart. Double short dart. And here is a mega. This is my 3D printed Nerf double barrel shotgun design that I've called the Foam of Nature. Uh, it's very obviously inspired by the Force of Nature from Team Fortress 2. Um, ho hopefully you can see that, um, hence the name. It is a double barrel shotgun that ejects shells and fires spring thunder shells. Um, here's the shell ejection. <laughs> so you can see in there. Um, it has a single plunger tube and two barrels, which means that there's this lever here for selecting which barrel you want to fire. When it's in the front, it fires from the right barrel. When it's in the back, it fires from the left barrel. Uh, there's also a little indication on the side here to say which barrel you're firing from. Um, the barrels release with this button here in the trigger well. When you push forward on that, it drops the barrels. Let's do another. There you go. There's a little hook here that moves back and forth. And that catches on this hook on the bottom of the barrels. Um, since I know people will ask, you can whip it closed, but only if you don't have shells in the chamber. If you have shells in here and you try to whip it closed, they usually come out just a little bit and either get caught on the O-ring or get caught on the top of the uh, breech face, which isn't great. Um, what else? Uh, since the last time I showed this, I designed a shoulder stock, uh, mostly just to have onboard storage. So you could run around with this and have two full reloads on the stock. Um, the shoulder stock is obviously optional. There's files to uh, that replace these two pieces. So you don't, if you don't want the stock, you don't have to print it. Um, I also made some mounting points for some shell carriers for both sides. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, you can choose which side you want the shell carrier to be on, or you could put it on both sides if you want to have eight shells on the stock. Um, the downside with the shell carrier is for me, when I'm holding the blaster, the shells carrier will dig into my wrist a little bit, which is uncomfortable. If I hold it in my other hand, that's fine. But now if I shoulder the blaster, then my face will be rested in, resting on these shells, which is uncomfortable. So, I mean, it's a trade-off. It's also like a gimmicky blaster. So, I mean, it's not like shouldering or, or putting your cheek against it is going to help that much. Um, so when I was designing this, I wasn't really going for high performance. Uh, I mostly just wanted to build a blaster that was fun to use and kind of like fun to run around with. So I really wanted a barrel mechanism that was very easy to open and to have the shells come flying out when they're uh, spent. It's <laughs> pretty great. Um, so that was mostly my focus. That being said, I don't think this breech design is going, it has a, I mean, I know it doesn't have a perfect seal. There's going to be some inefficiencies of like with this valve that I've come up, up with. And uh, I don't think I'm getting enough pressure on these O-rings to get a good seal on the shells themselves. Um, but honestly, it, it does pretty well. It basically gets like almost stock performance. So like if you have a single short dart, you'll be hitting 90 FPS to 100 FPS, depending on how good your shells are. If the, if the dart fit is nicer or worse. And firing a single rival rounds, you'll get about 60 to 70 FPS, which isn't great, but again, this is just for fun. Uh, it will fire two short darts at once, just fine, and it will fire two rival rounds at once. Um, not so great, probably around 50 FPS. It does not reliably fire three rival rounds at once, unfortunately. It just doesn't have the power for that. 
most of the time it'll uh, either nothing will come out of the barrel or like only one or two rival rounds will come out and the last one will be stuck in the the, the shell. Um, what else? Oh, you could theoretically put the lever in the center and fire both barrels at once, but the air passage through the valve is half open in both barrels, so it's even more constricted. And it, what usually ends up happening is it'll only fire the shell with the looser fit on the dart or on the rival round. So only one shell will fire and the other one will stay there. So lever in the center. Still didn't work. The only time that I've had this work is with these two shells that I've brassed. Since the barrel fit is identical because they're both brass barrels, half the time it'll fire both single sh short darts. So it's, it's not even reliable with that. So if you do print this, I would suggest always firing only one barrel. Um, so yeah, it's just this kind of fun, funky blaster. It's, um, I honestly spent a lot of time on the looks, wanted to get those nice clean lines everywhere. And, uh, yeah, I should have another video on my channel, like, not too long after this one, where I tear down this blaster, and if you decide you want to try to build one, that'll be your guide to putting it together, because there's a few things that are a little bit, um, <laughs> Like, there's, there's some specialty hardware which kind of sucks, and you, you're going to have to bend a spring for the, the catch. Or not the catch, for the uh, ejection system. Um, but yeah, that's my foam in nature.